good afternoon and thanks so much for tuning to Maranatha TV. This is M News coming to you live from our new studios here in Ngua Adugono and also streaming live on Facebook and YouTube Maranatha TV. GH. My name is Margaret Cardo. Coming up in the video headlines. A member of the New Patriotic Party NPP, Mr. Raza Kojo Upoku said no appointee under President Yikuf Adu government should engage in self-glorification. And in business, the National Board for Small Scale Industries is expected to be renamed the Ghana Enterprises Agency on Wednesday. In entertainment, actress Yvonne Nelson still insists that leadership has eluded the people of Ghana. We have details of these stories, including business, entertainment, and foreign news, coming up shortly. Now the details. A member of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, Mr. Razak Kojo Poku, said no appointee under President Nana Adudankwa Akufu Adu government deserves any credit for any policy implementations as they serve under the pleasure of the president. He said, since President Ikuf Ado took the responsibility of his government's poor performance of appointees, he was equally entitled to have the credit for all policy implementations. Speaking in an interview with the GNA in Accra on Sunday, Mr. Boko said he was disappointed to hear that some appointees of President Ikuf Ado were taking credit for some policies implemented by government. He said, it was unfair for some appointees to arrogate certain policies to themselves just because they are part of the implementing parties and urge them to move away from self-glorification to collective responsibility. He also said all policies implemented under President Ekuf Ade were owned by him and the NPP. Appointees should stop self-glorification and focus on their jobs to produce results for development and betterment of the country, he said. The Minister for Education, Dr. Yawosei Dichum, says most of the country's public senior high schools will be taken off the double track calendar in the next three years. He said this will be done based on the progress of work on infrastructure projects ongoing in the various schools across the country. Speaking during a press encounter in Accra on Sunday, the minister said a number of schools have already been taken off the calendar and are running a single track system. The minister's comments come after recent criticism of implementation of the free SHS program and the double track system that was introduced due to lack of physical infrastructure to accommodate the growing numbers. The objective of the double track school calendar was to create room to accommodate an increased number of students, reduce class sizes, increase contact hours and the number of holidays as part of the free SHS initiative. According to the minister, schools such as Kumasi High no longer run the double track system. With the double track system, students were allocated either a green or gold track for each form and attend classes in an alternated manner. The system has been criticized many times because, in some cases, students spend a shorter time staying in contact with teachers in school and return home. Some have suggested that this could affect the quality of education delivered to the student, but the government has justified the need for it. To some other stories now, a famous Nigerian preacher, Prophet T.B. Joshua, who is tele-evangelist and founder of All Nations Church, reported to have suffered a stroke two months ago before his death on Sunday. According to the cable, a Nigerian online news porter, Prophet T.B. Joshua, who is 57 years, was flown to Turkey to undergo treatment after he suffered a stroke two months ago. T.B. Joshua is said was airlifted with an air ambulance from Nigeria to Turkey to receive treatment as his condition was there. The cable said a controversial pastor recently returned to Nigeria after the treatment. The church confirmed the news of his passing in a statement on Sunday morning, six days to the birthday of the pastor born in 1963. According to the Squan, on Saturday, 5 June 2021, Prophet C.B. Joshua spoke during the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting. 
He said time for everything, time to come here for prayer, and time to return home after the service. It's regrettably announced that God has taken his servant prophet to be Joshua home, as it should be by divine will. His last moments on earth were spent in the service of God. This is what he was born for, lived for, and died for, he said. It's also added, as prophet T.B. Joshua says, the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will outlive it. The church extolled his virtues, stressing he is a living legacy of service and sacrifice to God's kingdom that is living for generations yet to unborn. According to Squam, the prophet's last word were watch and pray, thanking all world wishes and sympathizers for their love, prayers and concern at such a difficult time. It requested privacy for his family. Meanwhile, the cause of the death of the 57-year-old was not disclosed. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Now away from that story, three minors believed to be 11, 9 and 12 years together with a 16-year-old self-acclaimed fetish priest have been apprehended by the Iwutu Breku District Police Command after stealing their parents' money for rituals. According to information gathered by EIB News Central Regional Correspondent, Yao Bua Jing Chan, the 16-year-old fetish priest told the minors to bring any amount to be doubled as he did for others. The children on several occasions stole their parents' money, totaling 300 Ghana cities, and gave it to the fetish priest to be doubled for them. The minors were subsequently caught by their parents and upon interrogation, they revealed that a spiritualist told them to bring the money for it to be doubled. The parents reported the issue to the Ewutu Breku Police Command leading to their arrest. The incident comes few months after a similar incident occurred at Kaswa, where two teenagers killed a 10-year-old boy for money rituals. Business news is after this break. Please do stay. Maranatha Vocational and Technical Institute. Mabotech comes your way with varieties of courses you can choose from. Be it catering and decorations, building and construction, fashion designing, electricals and electronics, beauty skincare, nail culture, and grooming makeup. Admission is in progress. You have a diploma certificate, SHS certificate, JHS certificate, a school dropout, or have no formal education. Then, there is no need to fear because you are accredited by the National Vocational and Technical Training Institute. Hostel facilities are also available. You can locate us at the Ayubonti in Sawim, on the Drokrochewa St. Martin's Road. For more inquiries, you can contact us on 0246-026-257 or 0504-531-908 and 0243-175. There is a scholarship for the first hundred students. So call now. Mavotech, helping people to help themselves. Are you stressed or depressed and need a good massage to relax your body? Then visit Vanders Day Spa and Cosmetology. At Vanders Day Spa, we do not only do bodily massage, but we also do other things like bodily scrub, salon services, rejuvenating, facial treatment, and many more. We also have a school which offers short courses like wake up, makeup, pedicure and manicure, nail extension, and we have full courses in beauty therapy, hairdressing, cosmetology. You can locate Vanda's Day Spa and Cosmetology School Anungwa Adogono, Ni Odai Ayiku Street. You can call us on 0243-816908 or 
You will come back from the commercial break. Let's now do some business news. The National Board for Small Scale Industries is expected to be renamed the Ghana Enterprises Agency on Wednesday. According to her, the new agency will effectively support small and medium scale enterprises in the country. This was made known by the executive director of the NBSSI, Kosi Yanki Ai, at a press briefing in Accra. Also to be launched on Wednesday is a national policy on small and medium scale enterprises. The new Patriotic Party member of Parliament for Doma East, Mr. Paul Apreku Chumberuma, has said Ghana's oil industry remains solid and formidable despite the exit of Ezumobil. In an interaction in Parliament to respond to the minority's claim that the exit of Exomobile was as a result of lack of confidence in the government, Mr. Chumberuma said, Ghanaians and the investment community had faith and confidence in President Nanadudan Kufado's government to deliver. He quoted the Chief Executive Officer of ExxonMobil, Darren Woods, as saying, Using the strength of our balance sheet to invest through the cycle is a key element of our strategy. We are taking advantage of the favorable cost environment and investing in advantage projects, underpinned by the long-term fundamentals of growing demand. The strength of our portfolio and our financial capacity enable us to continuously to evaluate our priorities and the pace of investment whilst preserving value, which is critical in current market conditions and near-decade low commodity prices and margins. Mr. Chumberman noted that the National Democratic Congress was good at propaganda and therefore urged Ghanaians to ignore the party. Mr. Chumberma said research had revealed that Ghana's oil production would more than double over the next four years. He said Ghana's oil and gas sector was helping position the country among the continent's fastest growing economies. Coming up next is entertainment. Spend your time away, living your life in affordable luxury. Here you are with Shiloh Guest House, the nation's first best ever guest house. We pride ourselves with our superior customer service and premium rooms being meant for kings and queens. Our front style eloquence speaks for itself and we can't wait to give you a taste of a true luxury is all about. And after a night, rest is guaranteed with a glow most comfortable bed with neat and good mattresses with twinkle surroundings and warm atmosphere the whole family to dive in come rain or shine businessmen or women parents and kid alike get away with the reward of free wi-fi the environment beauty is uncomparable Shiloh guest house is just in Tishinua Estate near A Life Junction. For further inquiries, you can contact us on 0241 972076 and 0555 Guest House Bursts quality assured. Maranatha Glory Hill Academy is a newly established Christian educational institution held in a magnificent tune story modern edifice with 24 classrooms. The school has a Montessori that admits children from one year to five years and primary one to six. The staff is made up of trained teachers and university graduates. Teaching is based on GES syllables, high Christian morals and principles. Admission is in progress at all levels. Enroll your word now 
for excellent care and tuition. We are located at Maranatha Power Ministry premises behind Lekma Polyclinic, Adegono, Nungwa. You can call us on 0556-429-384 or 0242-535-031. Welcome back. Let's now do entertainment news. Actress Eva Nelson has indicated that Ghana lacks leaders because people put in place of authority rather think of satisfying themselves and their families. She indicates that in Ghana, the country lacks leaders because people put in place of authority rather than think of satisfying themselves and their families. The actress said these people do not prioritize the citizens in the country on any day and do not care how they are affected by their leadership. Yvonne Nelson, who has vowed to join politics in the future, is worried for the country because the same leadership problems keep knocking at the door of the country and have not been able to be resolved. Expressing the pain in her heart in a tweet, she said, We have been deprived of leaders. Let's now do some international news now. Rafa Islamist militants have revealed in an audio recording that the leader of the Nigeria militant group Boko Haram, Abu Bakari, has killed himself. In audio obtained by news agencies, the Islamic State West African province said Sakil died denoting explosive on himself after a battle between the two groups. He was reported dead last month and has been reported killed before. Neither Boko Haram nor the Nigerian government have confirmed his death. Undated audio recording, a voice told to be that of Islam leader Abu Masab, said he killed himself instantly by denoting an explosive. The fighters hunted down the warlord and offered him the chance to repent and join them. Al Banawi said, but he preferred to be humiliated in the afterlife than getting humiliated on earth, he said. When reports of Sekou's death in a clash circulated last month, the Nigerian army said it would investigate. Army spokesman Brigdin Mohamed Jerima told the BBC at the time the army was looking into what happened, but that it would not issue a statement until it caught definite proof. One journalist with close links to security agencies said he died when the fighters attacked Boko Haram positions in the Sambisa forest northeast of Nigeria. He has been reported dead numerous times before only three surfaces. After taking the reins of Boko Haram after its founder died and police custody in 2009, Sekou led its transformation from an underground set to a deadly insurgency that has swept northeast Nigeria. The Boko Haram leader Abu Bakar holds a weapon in a known location in Nigeria. He ever used propaganda videos to promote his violent ideology. Under Sekou, Boko Haram state bombings, kidnappings and prison breaks across the region and from 2014, it became overrunning towns in a bid to create an Islamic state under Sharia law. He said in one 2012 video that he enjoyed killing, he enjoyed slaughtering chickens and rams. Since he took charge, more than 30,000 people have been killed and over 2 million displaced from their homes. The group gained global attention after its 2014 kidnapping of hundreds of girls from a school in Chibo and Bonnie State, sparking the Bring Back Our Girls movement. Many of them. Let's end this afternoon news with a recap of the top stories. A member of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, Mr. Raza Kojo Opoku, said no appointee under President Yikuf Ado government should engage in self glorification. And in business, the National Board for Small Scale Industries is expected to be renamed the Ghana Enterprises Agency on Wednesday. In entertainment, actress Yvonne Nelson still insists that leadership has eluded the people of Ghana. This will be all for this afternoon news. For more news updates, you can follow us on our various social platforms, Facebook and YouTube, Manata TV, GH. My name is Margaret Cardo. Thanks so much for watching, and do have a very good afternoon.